gold Hello. or something. Hello. 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 Why is the Sentinel's class uh, Hello. soylent green? Hi, uh, party and me. What'd you say? What is it? What are our Sentinel's flasks made? What does it refill with? Yeah. Well, I mean, there are. Have you ever seen a hunter's corpse before? Yeah, a lot of them, in fact. Oh. Damn. Wait, no, you haven't. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, we have. <laughs> You've seen we what? Saw all of Colkirk. <laughs> That's. <laughs> we saw Mikhail and his whole trio. Nah, dog. Nah. What are you talking nah, about? Nah. We literally saw all of the hundred. Nah, corpses. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Don't worry about that. I'm I'm retconned in that season. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the whole season. It's my fishing that. What the yeah. fuck? Gone. <laughs> Just it's, it's all gone. Fuck? All gone. Now, um, you were asked. You were asking, um, what is the 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 flask ma uh, made of, or what's in the flask? What's in the flask? Why well, is it green? Well, <laughs> what we can do? Uh, we can do a check for that. You want to do a check for that? Yes. Well, let's do some. Uh, let's do some medicine checks. Oh, all of us. Medicine. Uh, I'll accept medicine or arcana. Uh, only those that want to know what's inside the flask. Wow. Oh, bad. I want to know. Great, great roll. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, well, there, I'm going to roll. Okay, right. there you go. Oh, tell oh, us. Right. Can tell oh, us. fuck. Uh, gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, none of you know what's in the flask. What? Uh, nice. Oh no! Oh, this gate three moment. This is my new objective. <laughs> Don't you can't save scum this shit. Do we roll <laughs> every time we play? Uh, no. But what you can do now that you've asked the question is the next time you're near a a source of knowledge, whether it be an Ooh. archive, a library of some kind, you can research the topic. We can ask Cheetle. He probably knows. He's you the can guy. Ask, you can ask. Fucking a dude. Or you could just ask Cheetle. That's also a thing that you can do, and Cheetle might know. But that'll have Cheetle to wait, alive. my friends. Um, we'll have to make it out of here alive first. Yes, that's right. Mm-hmm. I would like a recap, please, from Crown DM. Crown uh, recap, please. <laughs> Hold the mic up to Crown. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Where kidding. Of course it's Naomi. Naomi, do you have a recap for us today? <laughs> it's okay if you don't. You know what? I think Crown got this. No! <laughs> I was, oh shit. I was doing the bit. I don't like I was just, <laughs> Crown, you don't wow. have to. You don't have to if you don't want to. I don't <clears> want to <throat> bring that up on Oh! <clears throat> Ooh, that's a DM <laughs> that's a DM throat oh. clear right there. We're we're, we're in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> shattered his spirits Cheats and Marius had a little moment to start us off the injured and the drugged we fast forward as Cheadle patched up the ship the kid and the contents relatively unscathed Gareth tried to fi uh, fish in the desert and almost lost it all on a rock he might have gotten sunsick or something Vanya, Cheats, and Cheadle watched some Hayome and Crystal Moon Sisters <laughs> Uh, and Cheadle relaxed. The most important reveal of this entire season. <laughs> His dagger pommels were crafted in the shape of Mr. Bubbles, an important character in season three. Looks kind of like a T-Rex. He made it himself. <laughs> then he used Hayome to give a motivational, import, uh, a motivational speech to Vanya and Cheats about the importance of taking a break and relaxing when the world is falling apart and when we're about to see the Senate. We continue traveling on, uh, over the Luxian Desert until finally we see it. The edge of the world, the Star Canal. Our journey was truly just beginning. As Modia is shrouded in fog, and as we approach the fog wall around the continent, a barrier came up around the barge, and we were through, able to see the chained core of Io. It was Gareth's first time. Uh, it was Gareth's first time oh in the Sea of Stars. People <laughs> shared his conspiracy uh, theory mm -hmm. that the core was actually the moment Io met its demise, frozen in time forever, so that the rest of Io could live on. Whether uh, that's more reasonable than gods chaining the world together, uh, well, who knows? <laughs> As he speaks off into the distance, a red orb, a ball of fire? No, something fluid, something massive, as big as a city. Suddenly, a giant satellite-like station covered in globules of the same fluid, massive station, manned by a crew of 80 to 100, non-essential. 
We changed course as we headed to the station. When we finally got there, Gareth drank a sip of tequila. He loved it. <laughs> Marius decided to check on the station's power. There wasn't much. The lights were off. He checked the audit log, too. The satellite was evacuated. All documents were to be purged. And all were, save for one. That the satellite deemed urgent, important. And uh, all ordered... Uh, all ordered by the Ionian Senate. The security system on the station was still active. Gareth drank some more tequila and loved it so much, he threw up. <laughs> all of the stations were being recalled under orders, one at a time, to check in. The station had replied, we'll return with great urgency, and a copy has been made without proper protocol or terminology. The satellite's purpose uh, was us to scan the stars for anything unusual, and the security cameras were intentionally turned back on. We ventured into the station, past some broken or intentionally rigged steam pipes, and Vanya ripped a mastiff banner from the wall to wear as a cape. We ran into some Ooh. security droids that immediately came up with pistols drawn. We fought, and more of them came out of the weird pillars in the room. We were blasting through them, even though we had some weird even though they had some weird vibro blades that basically sliced through us like butter and crazy bullets. Uh, they took uh, and took them down one by one, but more kept appearing. And then this massive one appeared. It was huge and big and tall and terrifying. And that's where we're at. <laughs> good, good shit crown thing. <laughs> Were those all from your notes? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I was about to be like, do you remember that? Uh, every, that all those details from the top of your head. Insane. <laughs> You were saying stuff that I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. Like, I had to be like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, yeah I can't that. take any credit. That was, uh, <laughs> that was all of Azika's notes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Amazing. Yes, amazing. That's shit. amazing. <laughs> oh, shit. I was as soon as you said crown recap, I was like, I need to send it to him now. It was a, <laughs> it was a whole thing. And I was like, wow. I think bullet point notes, it would, it would not have been nearly that good. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a, that's so impressive, Naomi. God damn it. The details you had were... Never question her ability to recap ever again. Oh, I, ne I never I <laughs> never have and never will. <laughs> mm. That's beautiful. All right, you guys ready to to get going, get started? Yes. Yay, we're gonna have yep. fun today. Yeah. Uh Crown, like thank that. you for, for reading the recap. Naomi, thank you for the recap. There you go. Next week I'm gonna have like three sentences for you. I've raised the bar <laughs> too high, I need to drop it back down. Yeah, drop it back down just a little bit. <laughs> We fought some robots. It was weird. That was it. <laughs> Done. <laughs> if it was an in-character recap as Vizika, they would be so different. <laughs> I know. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I like the in-character recaps, but also recaps are tricky. What are you ooing about? What's going on here? I, know, I, just, I just like the idea of maybe changing up my note format to being like uh, Artificer's Log type stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um... Sorry, I'm looking for... Oh, here we are. Oh, here we are. God, it was in three folders. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's <laughs> founder shit, baby. Yeah, I did that in three folders. Where'd I scroll away that music? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Excellent. All right, let's do it. Because it is... <clears throat> ah! Cheats' turn. Cheats! Whoa! <laughs> that was so loud. <sighs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Crank up the toad. <laughs> Woke you up. Oh yeah. Let's Anytime. See. Anytime, trees. Do I have? I think I have three charges. Uh, the charges would have dropped. They drop at the end of the uh, round. Okay. And we will. Uh. Or rather, they, they drop at the beginning of your round, allowing you to keep charges over to, like, attacks of ops and things like that. Um, I think it's the end of my turn. Oh, you, it's the end of your turn? You already did your thing, you think? Because when I try to move, it says that I have moved my full... Oh, no, it is not. I had to move your token because I had made some map adjustments. So you actually mm. haven't moved yet. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Chat, did uh, did did uh, cheats go at the end of the last round? Because I believe I no. changed the initiative. Yeah, 
I think I changed the initiative right on you so that we would begin at your turn. So you're yeah. good. You should be good okay. to go. Alright. I will take she takes off and she she bounds over the dead body of this robotic. I can't move. I collide with a wall. wall. Yes, that's a wall. You gotta manually go around it. You got a wazda. What? You got it's, a wazda. That's a wall? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so you gotta count how much you gotta move. It's a pillar. It's a pillar where the robots oh, are coming out of. Oh, I thought it was a... I thought it was a light I know. on the floor. I know. Oh. I know. I'm sorry. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I should have had it in 3D, I guess. And yeah, she'd be like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> <sighs> That'll be uh, I'll I don't know to, how much ten. I'll talk to the Pixar artist next time. <laughs> uh, so she like, well, run here. God, this is such a, a tight place to be. Mm -hmm. And then she'll be like, ah, for twenty. And then she'll be like, ah, for five. <laughs> and then for another ten, mm. for thirty. And then she'll attack around the corner. Papa. Running in a circle, like whoop. Uh, that will be eleven or eleven points of damage dealt. Let's see, a trick. What is my feature? Do I re-roll it? Oh, your savage attacker. Uh, you, you, you can. Do you want to re-roll the two d four? Yeah, because I can take either total. So always, I'm gonna take the first one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, how much, how much did you move again? I, sorry, uh, 40, 35. I moved 40 uh, feet. All right, would you like to use or the no, four charge? 30 char feet, 30. Would you, like, would you like to use the 30 charges now? Yes, I would. Three points. And then, I will move another five. Aha! Yeah, I, I can't. I moved, you I moved you forward. I move another five, and I go in for the, the dagger. Where the frick is it? While you do that, I'm just gonna delete these walls, cause... <laughs> save save everyone to trouble. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know why I put him up. Uh, that Elder. that freaking hits. Uh, sneak attack is applicable. Oh uh, gosh. Sneak attack. Uh. Oh. Wow. Uh, uh, oh. Ooh. Maximum. Oh my. Ooh. Oh my god. And then, since I do not provoke AOPS, I'm gonna move more five more feet. <laughs> I never be. My turn. No drugs. No drugs. <laughs> Not don't, yet, I, anyway. She don't do drugs. Uh, before Vizika's turn, the lair action Ooh, goes off. Yeah. One moment, please. Oh. Uh, uh, as the door uh, near Vanya opens. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh. As you watch another robot come out of the pod. Roll an initiative. Excellent. Vizika, it's your turn. All right, so Vizika is gonna, she's gonna run up to the creature, the, the, not the creature, the robo con construction. Is she gonna try to climb up it and, and try to cover its eyeball sensors on its face thing? Okay. That's what I want to do. Okay. I'm gonna blind it. Okay. Give me, uh, let's do some opposing athletics checks. Okay. Ooh. Uh, oh. Yeah, this thing just, as you get up, it just wow, turns over, wow, knocks wow. you down, and now you're prone. There was a glimmer of hope. Shit. A small, Shit. small okay. seam of, of light in the darkness, and then a 23. <laughs> well, I'm gonna leap to my feet with five feet of movement. Uh, yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Oh my God, is she okay over there? How you hard did it. you hit her? Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> she. Do I have my a bonus action still? Was that was an action, right? That was an action. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna spend a key point and do flurry of blows. I must inquire. Yes. One moment, please. Gotta look at thing. Un. Mm, oh. Ah. Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll count it. I'll count it. It says you have to take the attack action, but I'm gonna think trying to climb up it. I think that counts as an attack. Which, wouldn't you? Uh, oh, really? Would you say, uh, Cram? 
I, I mean, I, I know I get an unarmed strike if I made an attack, but I didn't no. know Flurry of Blows was only if you have already attacked. Yeah, no, it's you have to take the attack action to get the, uh, oh. yeah. Oh. Yeah, and you know what? I I'm gonna I'm gonna say that was an attack. That was not an attack. So you okay. can, however, in that case, use your bonus to action to the punch. Just punch, like just hit. Yeah, like offhand, right? Well, you know, here's here's the question. Okay, if I use booze hound, mm -hmm. is would this would it work on this thing? Is does it count? Is because the wording is that a creature is slowed until the end of its round. A creature uh, is considered. Uh, a thing that has actions and bonus actions and can okay, take turns. Okay, so like, I don't know, the alcohol gets in its crevices and it slows down. All right, then I'm going to make a, I'm going to attack it with Boost Hound. We'll see if this hits um, to try to slow it until the end of its round. Understood. It's also <gasps> slowed by 10 feet. Because I hit it, so it's slowed by 10 too. Oh, Not double or... slowed? Uh, well, slowed um, is an actual condition. However, yeah. uh, that does not hit. Fuck. <laughs> well, the booze. <laughs> oh, what a waste! <laughs> not the tequila. <laughs> womp womp. Uh, all right, Marius. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, we're gonna. Gareth in a bit of a pickle, but we got a new droid coming in. Um, we're gonna move up. Uh, seeing the big lad in front of us, um, we're gonna make a, a shot. Uh, we're gonna make a, a hammer swing against them. Let's see it. Insufficient. Uh, and then immediately following up with a thunder gauntlet attack. Sufficient. Oh. Nine points Woo! of damage. With the nine points, it leaves behind that small pul uh, pulsating node. So Ooh. he has disadvantage on attack rolls against anybody else but me. Ooh. We've taken the tank stance. Uh, and then <laughs> I will bonus action uh, use my uh, defensive field and gain eight temporary hit points. Oh, wow. That's a... Uh... Oh, I can't wait to take them away! <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, now. <laughs> With friends like these. Hey, now. <laughs> she sees that. Ah, I can take drugs! <laughs> that is not what that means. <laughs> That's what I heard. As a legendary action, I will be the one to take away those temporary hit points. <laughs> Whoa, boom! Wait. That misses! We doing a wait? No, no, it, it would have been like yeah. swing and then Marius's own prosthetic sort of comes up to catch the fist. Excellent. Cheech in the back room. He's so cool. <laughs> Dagger drawn and a stab. I believe in you. Does that break your armor class? Uh, no, it does not. Ooh. And a stab. Oh. This does. <laughs> 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 you bastard. Not used to things getting in melee range for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a first. Um, I see you're concentrating on something, but what were you concentrating on? Ooh, that was Gareth's bless, I believe. Mm. Or guidance? I think I gave him guidance. Oh, I have guidance, oh you're yeah. concentrating on the guidance. That's right. Please make a constitution saving throw. Fuck. You got this. You got this. Well, you, yeah. Actually, uh, no, I you do? don't. No, you do not. Uh, <laughs> Jesus you're... Christ. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was a big old lie even, on my even part. My, even Vanya has ADHD. God damn it. Oh, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Gareth. Mm. Bonus action, I will utilize second wind to Huge. heal a little bit. Nice. Ooh. Massive. We love that, we love that. Um, And I will take a swing at this robo man. 
Again, using the demise of rebellion. The demise. Damn. Andy. Uh, that hits 12 points of damage. Take that. I will do a second attack to the same target. The Republic. Ooh. Uh, 13 mm -hmm. points of damage. Yeah, that hits. Uh, let's see. I'm going to spend a superiority die to do... Mm, let's see here. Hmm. Um. Oh, kill me. Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm drinking like a hurt. soda. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sodas you... make me hiccup, okay? What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do distracting strike. Here's some bonus damage here. Womp. Oh, Ooh. wait, wait, wait. Is that right? E yeah, it's a oh, 1d8. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's 1d8. Okay, I thought it was 1d8. Bad news, oh, yeah, okay. everyone. The slime is flowing again. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you got that, Momo. Uh, so, <laughs> there's nice. one, one hit point remaining. <laughs> okay, uh, and then next attack ro uh, roll against him has advantage. Other than me, there's a distracting strike. Thank you. Um, and yeah, that would be it for me. That's a legendary Return. Return. action. Uh, I'm gonna fire. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, we're gonna fire a blaster right in uh, Marius's dumb face at disadvantage. Oh, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow. That's a miss. <laughs> Oh, oh. Bounces <laughs> off the, uh, the the metal armor. Uh, Vanya. Hi. Oh, um. <clears throat> you know what? I want to use my pistol, which I haven't used during this mm. campaign, I believe. But I oh. think it's time. She's got two guns. Oh my god! <laughs> so, um, I I would like to use my pistol and try and uh, shoot uh, the one that is. I must warn you. Yeah. Um, a while a creature uh, is in, within five feet of you, any yes. range attack you make now is at a disadvantage because the creature is distracting your shot. He's distracting my shot. Yes. Any cre any uh, hostile creature within five feet of you, uh, you suffer a disadvantage on your range attacks. Do you have a way to disengage? out or a way to not take opportunity attack uh, I, I mean, I might not that I not that I know of so I mean I could just fuck up this one in front of me but I want to get rid of this one before he takes an attack so mm, decisions okay, I mean, decisions decisions right decisions I'll, I'll do it anyways. I'll fire my pistol. Uh, give me a control click, please. We love, uh... Oh! That... oh How do you dispatch? Oh, How damn. do you dispatch of the, of, the, of the robot? Holy shit. While I am... I'm maintaining kind of eye contact with the one in front of me, and I have my left arm extended, kind of like to shoot at the other one. I'm not even looking at him. I'm not yeah, even looking at him. I just shoot my pistol, oh, and I God. know it's dead, dead ass. Look, I'm on his fucking head. And he goes down, like, clanking. That's Very right. Nicely done. Thank Amazing. You. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> well, the roll of cool will always help you. Well played. God, now you pull a seven and natural. 20. You do have extra attack. Holy shit. Okay, so my rifle is, is glaive right now, right? Mm -hmm. Like it was for the from the previous. I mean, you could literally I use it of, as yeah, a glaive or a it. rifle. It's just, it's all con interconnected. So I'm going to glaive the one that is in front of me. Understood. It's the first one, right? Yes, it is. Oh, 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 my God. God. oh, Jesus Christ! Wow. He's a beast! Fuck 
Yeah, all right. You can spit That's in our it. mouths. That's all right. <laughs> uh, who would you like to grant inspiration to? Damn. Mario. Dice like that, just mouth open. Oh, my God. Yes. Got consent. Yes. Inspiration to Marius. She's like a sprinkler. God damn. <laughs> open up. <laughs> All right, that is your action. Uh, is there anything else? Is there anything else you like to do this round? Nope, that's it. That's it. Okay. As a legendary action. <laughs> Inspiration, <laughs> baby. What would you like to do? G Gareth will do a double attack on the big boy. Let's see it. That misses. Yeah, that was just a warm up. That hits. Nice. Yeah. It just it begins to clank. Perfect. That's all. <laughs> Bows. Thank you. <laughs> you'll, you'll hear the security drone. Insolent solids. And it will raise its blade. Uh, first, turning at. Oh, I'm, I'm a little. Wait, I'm a little, I'm a little taunted right now, aren't I? Yeah. I'm a little taunted uh -huh. by this guy. Uh -huh. uh, hey, what's up? You could attack him, but it'll be at disadvantage. That's all I'm saying. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm. He is the last one that hit you. Oh. Yeah, I saw it too. He hit you. I'm, uh, I'm going for the grapple punch. Oh, oh. Mm. Hey, wait, wait. On, on Marius. Mm. Seventeen. Missile. Does not hit. Nicely done. Ooh. That's a scary punch. Oh. A horrifying uh, punch. I don't know. I don't know how it skipped. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, next up is. Uh... Oh, that's why it skipped. He's, He's dead. dead. He's, dead. He's that dead. dead. That makes sense. <laughs> Cheats. All right. Oh my god. Okay, it's my turn. Yes, I know. Stop dinging me. <laughs> ding ding. Pay attention. Ding ding. All it's, right. It's your turn. We're going to run this way and get do off. A cool, wow, like, it's your turn. Kick flip off the wall and just poof, and then run down this way. And go. She's a so I stand back to back with Vanya, giving her some some. Um, uh, Lady back. Yeah, gatekeep girl Abrams. boss this robot from, oh, from yeah. coming in. And we're gonna whip attack this big boy. Let's freaking go. Powerful woman right now. Powerful. Oh, yeah. Um, Hell yeah. That miss. It's not accurate. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Can I stand on top of this? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna run this way. And cheat code. Miss. Uh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Seems. <laughs> seems it's like. Well, seems it slowly <laughs> looks down. Good day, sir. Um. <laughs> oh God. Uh, stop that. Uh, we are going to bonus action. Take drugs. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. My shield. Coping. Attack again. <laughs> yeah, you will. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh, no. oh yeah. Drugs, Drugs make everything better. Drugs wins. I'll take the first one. Uh, you get to apply. Would you like to apply a sneak attack? You're damn right. I would. Where is it? Would you like to apply your oh, kinetic charges? <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Yes, I would! Jesus. Maximum damage. Yeah, so she stands back to back with Vanya and she whips out her whip and misses this this disorientation having been so close to such a pretty woman. And so she jumps <laughs> over on top of, like, uses her back to propel herself over and on top of the body of this guy and misses again with her cheat code and decides 
Enough's enough. Enough being good. And she <laughs> takes her drugs and her eyes light up. And she will leap off backward for the finish of her f- oh. movement back oh. to back. Oh. oh, I will move you back here. Because as an uh. interrupt, the creature oh is God. now bloodied. Oh, uh, no. Ooh. So as you're uh. cracking down with the whip, you'll actually see the front panel snap off as the robot begins to just twitch around. And you'll notice this red gelatinous globule all within its CPU system. No! As it, as it turns over to you, looking at everyone, just twitching a little bit, and it says, Your kind will be the first to perish. As we entered the bloody stage. So... The chest cavity of the security unit reveals the source of his power in a radiated core dripping with a mysterious red ooze. When first bloodied this encounter, massive security reveals their core. It explodes in a burst of irradiated energy at a 30 oh. foot radius. I need everyone to make a constitution saving okay, throw, please. Cool, cool. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. No, no, no. What a radiation. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? We got a lot okay, of questions. Okay, we got okay. a lot of questions. I respect it. I respect it. No problem. No problem. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, can I use my inspiration to reroll? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, yes, you can. You can use your inspiration oh, to reroll. Okay. No. Wow. Oh. Yeah, wait, two wait, seven. Your, Jesus. It's a constitution, you say? Yeah. <laughs> For a little dexterous me. Is we sure about so that? So it's not dex. You sure yeah. about that? That is oh. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Hey, no matter. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, robot boy. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, I'm gonna explosion. grow a third titty or something. Fail, fail. <laughs> One can hope. So. hope. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Oh my God. Let's oh begin. Let's God. do what? it. Let's do it. Uh, that's gonna be 43 points of damage to what is Marius. Mean? What do you mean? You're gonna have 43 mean? damage to Vanya. No. What do you mean? No. What do you Minus mean? 21 damage here. What do you mean? Minus 21 damage here. What do you mean? And minus 21 damage here. What do you mean? Oh. Did you oh. just do do Gareth twice? What do you mean? Oh. No. Oh. Okay. Hey, no, um, I, was, I was pretty hurt. Uh, uh, Ow. Um, I take half of that as I choose oh, you my are reaction. Correct. No, no, no. Oh. Don't take half from him. I'm going to use my reaction to Cunning Dog. Don't oh, take half from him, please. I don't think you can use. I don't think you can use Uncanny Dodge on this. Uh, one moment. I believe you might actually be able to. Allow me to double check the feature. Sorry, if it's level one in attack, you can see hits you with an attack. You can use the reaction to have the attack's damage against you. An attack is defined as a melee attack roll or a uh, ranged attack roll. This is a saving mm. throw. So I take mm. half of that 21 as well. Uh, yeah, so you, uh, I already reduced the, the 13 because you will also take 13 points of damage. Yep. So I need to roll a con save versus yep. uh, a billion yeah, to no. maintain concentration. No, buddy, no. Yeah, I lose <laughs> oh my God. concentration. Uh, but hey, guys, his movement speed's reduced. Uh, anyways, there was more. Uh, let me go ahead and keep reading. Okay, oh, good. Oh, wait, that's it. No, we're good. Smile. Um, also now has uh, unlocked abilities, bloodied multi-attack, uh, bloody aimed attack, and a radiated blaster. Uh, he suffers vulnerability as well. And he also suffers a vulnerability. <laughs> How swiftly the tides of battle change. <laughs> <laughs> Cheats. You may continue your turn. Uh... Right. <laughs> um. The end. Uh, actually, mm, no. Yeah, I'm over in here. 
um, yeah, uh, that's it. Pog. Uh, Vizika. Oh, that was pretty. All right. I'm not going to try that again. That hits, oh. and with the vulnerability oh. spent, uh, we will be doubling Let's all of this damage. Go. Oh, shit. All right, That's so. My right leg. Uh, that'll be 40 points of damage. Good oh, my oh, my shit. Shit. Wow. oh my god. That's huge. That's my right leg. I Where forgot, do I have two attacks? <laughs> I don't know why I forgot. Do I have two attacks? Uh, if you, if you, you have, a uh, extra attack, I believe, so yes. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, mm. take that! And that! Miss. Bonk. Oh, who do you bring and... inspiration to, by the way? Oh. Uh, I don't, I don't currently have inspiration, by the way. Oh, yeah, sorry. Marius. Marius already what? has it. No, I spent mine to re-roll my double seven con saves. It was, yeah. it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, <laughs> yeah, it was really cool to watch. Um, <laughs> it's just gonna keep going. Oh, oh my oh god. My god. Oh, who, who do you bring inspiration to oh now? God. Uh, wow, uh, Gareth. Huge, massive. Very Wait. good. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Yes. And then it's just gonna. <laughs> I did it. Oh, I did good. <laughs> I give a thumbs up. Free action. <laughs> At the end of Vizika's turn. Ooh. Legendary action. Let's I'm go. Swing. <laughs> oh. That hits. Mm. Ten points of damage. I swing again. That hits. Yo. 18 points of damage. Oh, sorry, 13 Woo. points of damage. That's my legendary action. Excellent. Now it's my turn. Yes. Mm. I swing again. <laughs> you just made a ring. That misses. <laughs> uh, that is also a miss. Wow. Damn. Okay. So 18 is the AC. <laughs> Right. Yeah. I'm gonna bonus action. Uh, this guy's guys. Come on, he's gotta have low decks. We're gonna blast shot. Let's <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> like a gazelle. <laughs> oh. wow. Do you like how I? Do you like how I called that before I made the roll? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Marius, uh, whose lights are currently flickering from the sudden surge of radiation, uh, having to just go into this this sort of final frenzy, this swinging of his hammer that's at first almost animalistic as it makes these connecting blows and then sort of loses its steam towards the end with how bloody he is. That's my turn. As a legendary action. Let's go. Right <laughs> Gareth makes two attacks. Yeah. <laughs> Jabbing between. Oh, yes. it stands still. What? One oh. more. Sorry. <laughs> That's a miss. <laughs> That's all. Uh, I'm going to stab. I'm going to stab Vanya a couple of times. That's a critical oh, miss. Oh, granting, nice. uh, granting Vanya an inspiration. Suck my hat. And oh. uh, 10 Oof. points of damage. Uh, <laughs> you fucked <it> soon. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll be all right. Next turn. Gareth. I, I swingeth at the large mechanical being. Missed twice. Being. Oh! First off, Ooh. who do you grant inspiration Wait. to? I grant it to cheats. Second off, how do you dispatch of the robot? After two swings, nearly finishing this construct, he uh, finds a, a, 
a slit in the armor that he that he just jabs the sword straight into and satisfactorily uh, hits some crucial circuitry. Ending the encounter. Oh. Oh, are you all right? Are you all right? I'm going to kick the robot in front of me. Just very weakly. You have just oh. went through an arduous battle in an ongoing dungeon. Oh. <laughs> oh. Boy. Holy Your resources helmet. must fe feel a bit limited, huh? Oh, mm. shit. But for lifts his helmet. But, no for but fortunately for you all, uh, you will go through your own personal second wind. When you defeat, this is an experimental feature we're working on, oh. but when you defeat a dungeon boss, uh, you gain the effects of a short rest without taking a short rest. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. More importantly... Uh, you get four bonus hit dice that you can spend to heal during that short oh, rest. Oh, shit! Wowie, wowie. So, uh, I'm gonna go through the short rest now before we, we begin. Uh, Vizika, would you have, uh, currently 12 hit dice you can spend. How many Holy would you like shit. to spend? What? Um, is, is it allowed to, like, use them, like, a bit at a time, like, to see how much they heal before deciding, you know? Yes. Okay, cool. Well, I'd like to use... What's my hit? It's eight? Is it 1d8? It'll be 1d8 plus your constitution modifier is what you heal okay. for. Okay. I'll roll all, I'll roll the four for, for the free ones. Okay. Free. 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 You're at 59. Um, roll three, three more, I think? Or maybe two more? Which one? What would you like to commit to? Two or three? Two. Two. Okay, nice. perfect. Nice. All right. Excellent. You are now at, if I can... Six? Yeah, I'm trying to edit it back. I'll do it. Hey, thanks, bud. Yeah, Thank for some you. reason, it wouldn't let me do that. I like this feature. <laughs> I'm glad you do. Uh, Marius, you will take an instant short rest. Uh, you, cur you currently have 11 hit dice you can spend. How many would you like to spend? Wow. Yeah, uh... To start, uh, we're gonna spend five small little, uh, small little tubes project out of Marius's back, spin like centrifuges, and then disperse the liquid that becomes a gas throughout his body uh, with the first ones. And then they would uh, stab down. That was one, two, three, four, five. I've already Roll rolled it. You're at 51. One more. Yeah, one more. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Perfect. Uh, all right, so you're at five currently. Is that correct? Yes, that is oh. uh, that's it for me. Okay, excellent. Uh, short rest now uh, for oh. Gareth. Um, I'll roll the four freebies for now. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Wait. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Um, I'll expend two more. I'm okay with that right now. Okay. Let me make sure I've got, I've actually committed you all to a rest. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, next up, uh, I look at sheets. You have 12 hit dice to spend. Would you like to spend any of them? <laughs> Do the four free ones go away? No. I would like to spend one. And one more. Oh my gosh, thank you. You're welcome. You currently have ten hit points. Or ten hit dice. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough um, of you, rogue. <laughs> yeah, on her, during her short rest, she'd like run from like person to person who's like hurt, just like totally twitching out. To the point where, like, the ears atop her head kind of go as they, like, twitch and spin around, like, listening to everything in the room. And then she hits a point of, leth like, lethargy where she just stops walking and just <laughs> leans against one of these, like, long pillars where the robots come out of. And she's like, 
Yeah, you, you'll be, you'll be fine. <laughs> um, That's where she takes her rest. <laughs> uh, Vanya, you currently have twelve hit dice to spend. Uh, okay, I'll start with the four ones. Jesus Christ. Those were okay. awful. I'm going to be oh, real yeah. for you. Those those were not good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <clears throat> can I spend more? Uh, you have eight you could spend. Okay. Uh, g give me five. Yeah, this was, nice. This was Solid. This was not bad. Not bad. This was better. Uh, you have, give you me have... one more. Nice. Okay. Yeah. One more. One more. <laughs> okay. There we go. Nice. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. You're at. You're at. You're at one hit die. Oh, mm -hmm. Excellent. Did everyone enjoy their short rest? Their instant yeah. short rest. Thank excellent. you. Excellent. Yeah, I feel much better. I, I'm very much looking forward to what's on the rest of this dojo now. Smile. So, <laughs> so now that I've I've given you the sugar. It's time to give uh, you the medicine. When no. you take actual short rests in dungeons, uh, I make a little roll. And uh. if I roll high enough, the threat level of the dungeon increases if your presence mm. is known. Mm. So mm -hmm. this could include things such as additional enemies, traps being sent, uh, it's being set up uh, for your arrival. All the way to the increase of D all DCs in the dungeon. Oh my! Ooh. As the uh, so essentially, I like that a lot. So the dungeon, in itself, is also an entity that you're facing off against. I love mm. that. That's cool as fuck. Thank I you. take ten short rests. <laughs> <laughs> so Maximum so XP. After killing a boss, that doesn't happen. We get this Correct. one, but if we choose to take a short rest, Correct. we risk kind of like when we rested in the prison Correct. when we were fighting the warden. Okay. Nice. I like this. This is cool. I do like this. This is very cool. Correct. Yes. Mm. And uh, finally, uh, your loot is, is right in front of you. Uh, you can uh, spend some. You can spend some time now uh, in an attempt to uh, extract pieces. Oh, baby, you know it. From this. <laughs> so, because this is not a creature and actually a, a mechanoid individual, uh, you are free to use your tinker's tools uh, to try and we're gonna, extract. We're going to re-up <laughs> the spell we were maintaining concentration on, our enhance ability. That's, un be... that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> and very much so. Another second level spell slot, baby. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, fox is cutting, I'm assuming. Yeah, we're going to limiters removed. You would watch the panels on the side of Marius's helmet sort of uh, part a little bit uh, and small, even more present lights uh, sort of uh, almost like halo around his eyes. Uh, and yeah, we're going to start carving this fucking robot up because these robots are cool as fuck. Now, give me your shit. Uh, give me a check, please. That tinkerer's tools? Yes, please. Wow. You have succeeded uh, in extracting uh, the maximum roll for this will be 2d4. Ooh, you hate to see it. Uh, <laughs> that'll be two um, Mastiff parts, uh, each of them valued at two, or I'm sorry, 500 uh, credits. We shall place that in your crafting material. Uh, it'll be labeled, one moment please. Mastiff parts. Uh, X2 for 500 credits. Uh, you can use these for exclusive um, uh, exclusive pieces of uh, gear that you might be able to craft a little later on. Uh, what pieces of gear is that? Uh, you will have to wait and see. I love that. As you may encounter something, whether it be outside the dungeon or uh, later on afterwards, uh, that may give you the knowledge of what you can use with the pieces. I would love to also harvest the lads. Ah, now this is where it gets a little interesting. Uh, go ahead and, yeah, go ahead and give me... So you got three here. Go ahead and give me three checks. Well, okay. Wow. All three succeed. Now, because these are simply uh, minions of the boss, 
uh, I will be doing a death saving throw for each and every one of them. If I roll a 10 or higher, you get an additional piece. Here we go. Yes. Yes. And no, but that's okay. So hey, you got another I'll take two, it. <laughs> you got another uh two pieces. Each of them worth uh five hundred smackaroonies. Now those those blades we saw. Yes. Are those part of their anatomy? Uh yes, those would be part of the parts that you've extracted. Broken pieces of blades that have snapped gotcha. and part of their self-destruct, um various visors and 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 cogs and pieces of plate and metal beautiful you just need inspiration to strike indeed i really like i really like the motif that they have here i really like their their weaponry and i'm glad that i was able to harvest even broken parts of it yes uh i want to understand them better okay you're like because i'm gonna change the way my armor looks right now and i'll be like you (laughs) motherfucker (laughs) (laughs) you just see my credit card Ding, 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 ding. Our Momo, time. Momo gives me the dirtiest look because she hasn't changed one bit. <laughs> uh, and I would, while the others are doing their thing, if they would let me, I would go harvest the uh, the other two lads out here and then That's fine. figure this lad right here. See what he's going on. All right. Another three checks, please. That's fine. Yes. Wow. Yes. Jeez. Yes. Here we go. No. Yes. No. So you got another piece. Beautiful. Gorgeous. We love it. (laughs) There would be a moment where his hammer sort of resting on his back, the prosthetic clawed hand that's there is what's doing most of the work you would watch and rather hear that sort of scraping and groaning of metal as he's like bending plates uh sort of wrenching open the the chassis of a lot of these uh entities not only i assume they all have this like globule material inside Uh, yes every time you go in you see it, it, it it's dried out husk husky now uh versions of it but yes you begin to see it there would be this very audible hum that comes from Marius as he's, uh, it'd be very reminiscent of our first sort of foray into the breach, uh, where Marius, as he's sort of wrenching open the, the chassis of these creatures, he would use this, uh, that small camera and start taking pictures of these things from different angles. Excellent. Um, sort of like right, kind of going back to right as the encounter ended, Gareth yes. would notice that that Vanya was considerably wounded, which would be the first time in his memory that he remembers her being in bad shape. And so he would uh, it, almost immediately run over to her and uh, <clears throat> at, attempt to spit in her mouth. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> like, will that happen before the heat, before the short rest? Yeah, this is before yeah, the short rest. Before? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Would you tell me this? Or. Um. <laughs> this will help, right? What? He's like, he's like, it helps both hands. I, do and... it. I, I mean, I'm, just I'm trying probably to help kind of unconscious. All. I don't know. I, I, you can try. It's <laughs> <laughs> a real bonding moment. Gareth will spit in her mouth. Does it? Uh, I mean, make, make him roll. Does well, he I have, have to make actually... a roll? An accuracy? What is this? A yes. deck check? A tongue dex check? Okay. <laughs> it's easier if you just kiss All right. It goes straight down your throat. <laughs> Do you feel better? Do you feel better? I'm just going to stare at him with just like a, puzz- a puzzled expression in my face. What are you, what are you doing? Stop. <laughs> I thought maybe it would help you. That's, that's how you help us sometimes. My God. 
<laughs> she, she just turned turn, avert her eyes. <gasps> no, okay. I love the interview. All right. All right. He'll walk away awkwardly and just kind of like. <laughs> he'll help be helping Marius the whole time with the. I the love. Body extra, I love the idea of hearing the. And then <laughs> Marius being like. Ah, oh, Vanya must be healing somebody. And then he looks back and sees it's Gareth spitting into Vanya's mouth, and he goes, "You know what? Uh, I'm going to keep working." <laughs> what do you mean I got age gated? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> if you could hold on to that purse right there. And it, oh yeah. Anyways, uh, how, how, what? How do these work? <sighs> they appear to be some sort of automaton controlled by that unit up there. Uh, think of it like a, uh, a master and its servants. The issue is the strange, viscous material found within. Uh, similar to that sphere that we saw out in space, yes? I didn't want to jump to any conclusions just yet, but it is alarming, whatever this place may be. The same material as what we found on the outside of this vessel. Hmm. Notice how it's dried. These hmm. creatures have been like this for a fair bit. Oh, be, be careful that it does not infect you as well. Hey, DM. Yeah, what's up? Hey, that radiation feel weird at all, Smile? Uh, very weird, Smile. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, Do you know what the worst part about that feel is? Why? Uh, it feels like when uh, Cheats takes her hit, but way worse. Ooh. Am I Is sterile? It... <laughs> Anyways. I'm sorry. We, uh, <laughs> we don't know that yet. Uh, there would be, like, there, there are usually smaller indicators when Marius sort of becomes aware of, of at least radiation, at least Cheats' radiation. Um, but on his suit, there would be these small, like, uh, almost small red lights that contrast the yellow. They sort of show, like, this sort of toxic presence. <laughs> um, and he's, he, there's two parts where he's like, this is either, this is either something very potent within the facility, or this is... Cheats's like the effect of Cheats's drugs are different outside of Asmodia. Um, is there is there anything I can do to discern? Like, what, do I have any knowledge of radiation? I would, I would you hope can so make, as an artificer. You can make a uh, medicine check. Okay, this will be at also advantage. Wow, wow. I'm afraid not. There's a yeah. There's a moment where and I and I will say it's not because of a lack of knowledge of being an artificer. It's because radiation is not a common thing that Bad. is known about IO. Um, I, I don't know what effect it will have on us. It's, there's a, a weird sort of metallic taste within my mouth. I thought perhaps blood, but usually it goes away. I don't know what it is. There's also that lingering scent of ozone. Now uh, that you mention it, I, I'm a bit uncomfortable with this room. Perhaps we should move along quickly. He would sort of that clawed prosthetic reaching down, curling around the sort of main uh, component or the main processor of this uh, unit and sort of tearing it free um, and he would nod sort of shoveling it into a, a, a small protruding uh, portion of the armor let's check on the others uh, I believe I believe it was you and me that suffered the most at the hands of that entity but she uh, 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 Vanya was in rough shape as well I tried to help best I could. Uh, she seems to be doing all right now. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, thank good. you. Good. I do good. a thumbs up. Th mm. Yeah. Thank. Thanks. Mm. Understood. Mm. What of our what of our rackling companion? 
No, oh, where is Vizika? Vizika's kind of like on the far end of this toppled chassis, and all you hear is. <laughs> oh, what is she doing? Are you are you chewing? Oh, um, uh, I, I was just um testing it. Test, testing how? Uh, for edibility. Hmm. There is nothing to eat on that. Yep. You're, yep. What have you chewed so far? What's she, your she's mouth? She's like kind of like the, the oh, metal. Oh, like no, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Open up. Basically Open up. The, the metal plates. She was just kind of curious and just tried to like, <laughs> but she didn't bite off any pieces or okay. like eat the goop inside or anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the idea of Marius's the eyes on his helmet sort of rotate once he sort of staring at the Zika would slowly turn back to cheats or do feet. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey. Escape time. Like opens her eyes blearily. There's no place to rest. <sighs> That's your problem. You never find time to rest. Ugh. Not in facilities where we are unwelcomed guests. Fucking dead. Who cares? There's far more to this facility. She just <gasps> kind of looks up and. <laughs> oh, there's just a lot more rooms. I do believe that's where the uh, the main host came from. Is and, there anything of interest within? And as you kind of like come in and 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 look uh, a little bit, Vizika, you will see the the massive pod uh, over in the center here mm -hmm. uh, opened. Oh, there's a the thing. What? <laughs> yes. What? She like peeks into it. Mm. Uh, it's empty. Not much of a thing. It seems like a larger version of the version of these pillars that spawned whatever these are. If I can help it, uh, hopefully I can attempt to seal this room on our way out. There's another door. Another door. Where are you? <laughs> running so fast. <laughs> Come on. It's time to move. Vizika pokes yeah. at the door. Uh, are you leaving without your party? No. Okay. <laughs> Actually, is there another door? No. Oh, hey, DM. Yes. Excuse me. We wouldn't have any visible effects oh. of radiation at the moment, would we? There's currently nothing visible ab uh, about you, like visible changes about you. Hmm. I, could I like somehow keep an eye out for anything? Like, just oh yes. Keep... Okay. <laughs> like, like, I just like, is Vizier gonna lose all the fur? You know, just <laughs> maybe I that's not. <laughs> I've lost <God>. enough. <laughs> First Everybody. shaved Gareth, and then shaved Vizika. Everybody pointing at the DM in the corner. What did you do to me? <laughs> what did you do? I don't know. Do you all press on? <laughs> Giving <laughs> cheats uh, one tug and then. <laughs> she was like, they're fucking going everywhere. Where, where are we going? <laughs> Yeah, you're just waiting for everybody to stop moving. Oh. Oh. You enter back into a hallway most familiar. Um, it's the sort of velvety plush carpet, the light blue, um, the tapestries hanging across the wall. This appears to be another hallway. Let me take the lead, Vizika. Indeed, we most certainly do not have the element of stealth anymore, nor did we ever. 
Mm. No fault of your own. I mean, Gareth is clad in armor. I am armor. I am armor. <laughs> and Vanya will go in. Okay, well, maybe they're not going to know that we're coming exactly in this one, so maybe I should go first. And... Oh. Hmm. Oh, you want to go first? <laughs> I think I saw some tasty edible things back there, if you want to check. I tried. <laughs> you tried? Oh, alarming. my. What, what is this? Uh, you'll enter what appears to be a promenade area. As you like, look off to the south. You'll see, uh, you'll see the, um, the 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 Star Canal along with a barge a little farther along the way. Now, this seems to be a uh, peaceful walk area. Uh, trees grow uh, for within this area. Is this a? Uh, ooh, is this like some Bioshock shit? Like they have like trees and plants to create O2. For oh, O2. Yes, it, it it is partially. Uh, well, I mean you. Go ahead and make a history check. Mm-hmm. All right. Ooh. Advantage. Um, y- yeah. So partially, um, it, it's for that. Another part of it is to kind of uh, present a little bit more green, a little bit more nature to uh, those that work in the satellite, because usually they're out here for months at a time. Uh, so it kind of gives a little peaceful area, but also it helps circulate uh, oxygen around the station. Um, and it's also a good fail safe uh, in case the uh, the satellite's oxygen supplies were to fail somehow. Mm. Very good. Um, were there any trees in Asmodia? No, absolutely <laughs> not. Um, that's what I thought. Uh, you will see uh, a couple of doorways over to the north um, and all the way to the other side you'll see another door um, with the light illuminated uh, it shows the common signal of a lift this is fascinating interesting some sort what of what is this seems the to be some sort of parchment dispenser what the, 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 the trees climb the tree Tree? Athletics check. Yeah, you don't know what a tree is? Myers will give a look to cheats. <laughs> Why mm. did I? It's an office question. You didn't know what a door did before. I don't know if I get Not everybody has left as motive. There were trees there, just less Vizica. leafy. Vizica, you scale the tree. Yep. What do you see? Sniff it. Does it smell like a normal tree? She's seen trees before. She's give taken a, many a nap under trees. Give me a nature check. Oh. Uh, <laughs> as real as it ever gets. She's got... What kind of tree is this? Uh, according to your knowledge, it is a <laughs> tree. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna, like... Like not, not exactly take a nibble, but she's gonna, like, scratch it a little bit with her claw, like the bark, and then she's gonna just, like, Feels like tree, tastes like tree, must be tree. <laughs> I wonder if perhaps if this place has hydroponics as well. It's definitely a tree. Hydro what now? A place where they are able to cultivate and grow food here within the station. Mm. If they I have am... trees here, which will produce much of their breathable oxygen, they must also have a means of sustaining themselves. Hey, that thing looks broken. She points. Uh, yeah, you'll see of uh, the two north doors. Uh, this one uh, with the steam. It seems to be steaming out of it. Uh, there seems to be a lot of debris around that door. Vizika's going to start digging in the dirt a little bit. She's looking for insects. Uh, you'll paw through the dirt. What are you doing? Bugs here. Bugs are cool. You want to eat the bugs, don't you? No. I wouldn't eat a bug. You wouldn't eat a bug. I wouldn't eat a bug. You wouldn't. I've I'm seen you eat a ham. Saying, she wouldn't eat a bug. Bugs, <laughs> don't she support wouldn't her on this. She wouldn't eat a bug. Nah, she wouldn't eat a bug. What is happening right now? Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> She'd never eat a bug. <laughs> As long as you don't eat that bug. <laughs> a bug eater. 
Right, I guess fetid flesh is different than a bug. What? I wouldn't eat that either. <laughs> I saw it with my own eyes, but you know. You don't have eyes, you have like cameras that could be malfunctioning. Oh. Are, are you opening that door, Vizika? If Cheats looks like she wanted to go towards it, Vizika would run up and join her. <laughs> All and right. Yes. Are you letting us know? Oh, okay. Or not. Uh -oh. Oh, uh, here. As you walk into the door, you'll see some rather clean tiles, uh, a door that leads over to the west, and then some not so clean tiles to the north. How does it look in there? Bad. Bad how? Does it smell? Know. How does it smell? Does it smell like blood? Uh, you are free to go up to it and make a perception check. Can I smell it from here? Mm, you can make a perception check. Okay. Oh, Would it be... Smell you. Okay. Would it be normal or at advantage still because of my nose? Uh, it will or be at, at advantage. Okay. Sniffer. Mm. Uh, you do not smell anything from the distance you're at. Mm, well, whatever it is, it's not fresh. It's actually a great question. How stale is the air? When was the last time the oxygen was like uh, basically recycled or regulated? Oh, ah, very interesting. Uh, there doesn't seem you're not really having any problems breathing currently, so the oxygen system seems to be fine. This whole facility is still functioning. This is going to try to smell it from here. Very curious. Okay, give me a perception check. Wow, <laughs> you cannot smell it from there. Hmm, I don't smell anything. Well, I'll go check it out for you. <laughs> walks in, walks in. Wow. Uh, <laughs> and from there, you can smell the familiar scent of iron uh, in the air, uh, signifying oh. blood. However, What's your blood type? however um, something about it feels stale. Feels old. This is not fresh. I can only smell it from here. This is pretty old. It's definitely blood, though. Are we certain it's blood? Yep. We saw the viscous. The the vicious. It's definitely blood. Blood. <laughs> While I appreciate your more candid approach, I would like to test it if able. Sure it looks like blood to me, based on the splatter. But you also saw what was inside of those automatons. Mm. I, I know the smell of blood. It's a very worrying comment. Don't we all? It's somehow more malicious coming from you. I'm less malicious because I'm less in size. I'll open the door. Oh, uh, understood. You'll walk, yeah, you'll walk in uh, to see an unsettling sight uh, as the blood seems to trail farther in. Be careful rushing in there. Go ahead and give me a stealth check. Wow. Very <laughs> good. Don't worry. Give me a second, I'll go look. Wait, where'd she go? There's like a moment where like the feet, the like robotic feet, first the red one like separates with like a tss, as like these, just like this movement. And then the left one will do it too, but much slower just because it's not as, as prime. And when she steps, it's like nothing even moves, no sound. Okay. I don't know what, please. Okay. As you approach deeper in, there's a strange sound that you can hear deeper within the facility. You hear this sort of tearing and cracking. Give me a perception check. 
someone less perceptive would only hear that. But it's the deeper sound that makes you unsettled. Chewing. Gnawing. Peeks around the corner. As you stare around the corner, it trails around further. But still, the blood continues deeper inside. I peek around this corner. And as you peek around the corner, <laughs> You'll watch as this creature seems to be huddled over some old cadavers within the morgue of this place. And as you stare at it, you'll watch as its arms are extending, ripping things apart. And then you see it. It's not its own arms, but it seems to be reanimated arms of the other cadavers this creature seems to be using. What's going on in there? What are we waiting for? I can't move. Oh my god, my token wouldn't move, I'm sorry. Paralyzed with fear. Yeah, she's, there's like no sound, no movement as she comes back. Just comes to the door frame and just kind of falls through it. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> something in there. Oh my god, it, it's got it's, it's got arms of people. <laughs> it's got arms of people and, it, and, 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 and it's it's fucking eating them. <laughs> it's eating them? It, it's, it's, it's taking shit from them. I can't lose anything else. I'm out. What kind of monster would do something like that? No different from the creatures we fought in Asmodia, but... He would give a sort of more pointed stare at Cheats before eventually turning his attention back. If that thing is allowed to leave, I don't know what will happen if others come across this facility. Fucking blow it up, that's what we do. You get whatever your information that you need and we fucking leave. Yeah, we got some bombs, right? Well. Mm. You kept some bombs, I, right? I, I do have a few. I have a few vials. I'm not sure it's enough to take down something like she described, though. Are we sure that we need to encounter this? Could we not just lock it away and deal with it How big as we it? escape? <laughs> big as this whole fucking corridor. Oh. Mm. And only getting bigger. He's got people in the he's, he's taking parts from. Gareth would like to look and see if there's any way to like lock this door. Okay, so you'll shut the door. <laughs> um, but as far as locking or trying to seal it away, um, you would probably need someone to actually hack into the panel so that it doesn't automatically open. But as far as that is concerned, besides making it so that a user couldn't open the door automatically or have the door automatically open, nothing is to stop it from physically 
being removed if something is strong enough. To buy us at least a little bit of time in case we do wish to come back. Because again, you know, who says if we destroy this facility that thing doesn't live out in the vacuum? Finds its way careening out to Arkmund or Clayberry. I will seal the door for now. But it would behoove us to return. We're going uh, to try to hack the panel to uh, keep the door from automatically opening. Gib. As you kind of like go into it, you kind of change some subroutines, try to really make it difficult for anyone to try and open the door. Um, as far as that's concerned, the, the door is not opening. Hopefully what you did was enough. I do not know what assurances that will buy us, but if nothing else, it won't wander too close to the door and see us. So let's make our way out of here. Continue to explore the facility. Is, is there any way you have to keep an eye on it, perhaps? Maybe from, maybe if we get to the captain's mainframe, I could redirect, or even if we made it to the security co uh, console, I could try to redirect the feed to my helmet, but I can't do that from these smaller panels. The, the connection is too weak, or the firewall is too strong. Well, all right. We should be swift, then. Hey, Dion. Yes? Do any of these, like, doors that we've been going through seem like they have emergency like emergency shut mechanisms just judging by the level of technology um i uh, go ahead and give me a general intelligence check and your dc is going to be smaller because of your origin your background <laughs> uh. um well that is actually sufficient because oh, of your, your background and what you understand of the inner workings of various pieces, especially from your, let's just say, junkyard past. Uh, typically, when it comes to automated doors of this technology, um, there is an emergency shut off um, or an emergency release valve uh, in case something hazardous happens to an individual behind or within the door. But that usually takes a bit of uh, either a bit of hacking or a bit of um, a, a bit of a, a physical force to the door. Right. Yeah, I think cheats would kind of visibly grow more uncomfortable the longer they linger. Uh, Marius doesn't use the prosthetic hand. He would use his actual hand and very gently place it on her shoulder. Come on, let's be away from this place. Yeah, yeah. I'll watch our back. Let's go. You'll return back to the promenade. You'll kind of feel the fresh air from the trees. Um, are you going in that door while everyone else is sleeping? She's going to say that to, to Gareth. Should we check it? Is there any sort of like porthole that we can see through or is it just solid? It's solid. I think we should check it. Be quick. We got uh, you'll look into what appears to be some sort of like surgical rest area. This must be the med bay quarter. <gasps> it's a med bay, there might be supplies. Let's search it really quick. We sure. shouldn't linger. The, the others have already left. Okay, I'll, that... I'll, I'll catch up. Just gonna I'm... try to quietly peek through if these cabinets open. 
Understood. I uh, We will have to do an investigation check soon, but since the party is separated, uh, we'll have to take actions at the same time. So um, as you two have started to enter the surgery area, uh, I must now go back to Marius, Vanya, and Cheats. What are you guys doing? Do we hear the door open? <laughs> oh, absolutely. You hear it. <laughs> Marius made strides, stops, hand comes up, and immediately sort of catching it against the wall, leans back to peer back through the, uh, <laughs> the portal. Yeah, you'll watch as Gareth is staring into the open door. And Vanya, or sorry, Vizika is nowhere to be found. <laughs> What's going on? They've opened another doorway. What? Uh, Vizika's curiosity got the best of her and found a, a med room. She's she looking for supplies. I didn't go along with it. Well, I didn't Can you see please you stopping keep your it. fucking voice down? I didn't see you stopping it. And stop her, I can barely catch her. Um, That's fair. Vizika, give me a perception check. Excellent. As you kind of like <laughs> begin to just tear through the various cabinets of. Oh, she would be as quiet as possible. Right. Um, uh, stealth check then, please. Okay. So as you yeah. tear through yeah. and as you're pulling, nice. you, you literally, uh, you know, the creaks <laughs> of all the shelves and you're pulling things around. You're, clank, 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 yeah, you're tossing think... bedpans and, and gauzes and you just don't no, really God. see anything. Is it, is what it, it, are you doing? <laughs> with the, with this, if she starts making noise, like, unintentionally, she would immediately stop and then close it back so she would stop looking. Oh. Because she, she recognizes the threat. <laughs> she's just, like, trying to be quiet, but as soon as it's like, ee, she's like, oh, oops. Yeah, what so, I imagine is you drop a bedpan and it's the loudest no, fucking sound. No, no. It's literally the steel pipe sound no. effect. Yep. Yeah. No. Please, no. Anything but that. Are you quite dumb? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure there wasn't a monster here too, but then I thought there might be some supplies for us to use, but this place is clearly really old and bad. Do you want that I should look? The, the what? Do you want that <laughs> I should look? Oh, uh, yeah, you can look. He's going to very gently pick up the Zika <laughs> by the scruff <laughs> and walk back. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Okay, you're looking for supplies? Yeah, I mean, it looks like the med bay, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, these these look like... like yeah, they're, they're little, they're little beds. Almost. Yeah, they're, they're, they're beds specifically. It's a, it's a uh, common rest area, typically oh. for po post-op. Oh, nice. The uh, the multi-service ward. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll investigate. They got to have, like, banana bags here or something. Give me a, give me a, a persuasion what? check. Persuasion? I'll persuade the DM. You got it, baby. <laughs> I mean, perception, perception. Perception. Per Could I make it investigation? No. No, very well. Persuasion on DM. <laughs> uh, which, <laughs> this place fucking sucks. Uh, go ahead and give me a stealth check. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna F5 save real quick. <laughs> uh, you turn around and step in the same bedpan, and it makes the same oh my <laughs> <sound>. rush <laughs> under the weight. Vizika's gonna raise an eyebrow, mm -hmm. and if, if Marius looks at her, she's gonna say, Are you quite done yet? He's not looking at her. <laughs> He's holding her off to the side, not making eye contact. You're quite done yet. <laughs> the fuck? You would see him visibly tense. There's nothing of use here. Yeah. Gareth would Gareth would hear the loud bedpan sound, and he would try to stealthily. <laughs> okay. Um, just like put his ear against the door here to 
see if he can detect any signs of the, the creature. Beautiful. Give me a perception check. Get his kill. All you'll hear is just this. But nothing moving forward. God, I love the sound effects so much. Do you, did you hear anything? Thoughts. I think we're okay. But whatever it is is still back there. We need to well, get moving. I can see Marius oh. getting out of that room, so hopefully no more bedpan noises. I was sabotaged. <laughs> sure you were. He's going to very gently set Mazika <laughs> down onto the ground. <laughs> She pats his calf. It's okay, you did fine. Patronized. (laughs) Gareth looks at Marius and lets out a deep sigh. Don't do that. (laughs) Baby, I'm better than the rest of them. (laughs) Don't do that, please. (laughs) Not you, Gareth. Anybody else, not you. We're gonna go check out that door over there. Uh, yeah, so you'll see uh, this door all the way to the end. Uh, there is, uh, has a glowing symbol here, uh, which is the universal symbol for like lift or elevator. This room, you kind of just see hot steam just kind of coming out of it, and you can hear it just, you can hear it just steaming into the, into the area. Is it, it looks as if the door itself is tampered with or broken. It looks like whatever the steam is coming from, it's coming from behind the door and the door is barely holding it in. Well, uh, huh. <laughs> well, I do reckon. Are there, oh, this is probably going to be dumb. Are there any, uh, the door, is the door panel still visible? Yes, uh, the panel is still visible, yes. Okay. Is it possible to try and route a connection through this panel to look to what's inside this chamber? Uh, from the panels that you've seen, no. That would require uh, security access. One double check. Very well. It looks as if our path either will take us backwards or through the lift. You said we need to get to the captain's quarters. Do you have any idea where they might be? More than likely at the top, uh, the top deck of the satellite, but beyond that, I have no idea. Hmm. In truth, this is my first time at one of these. Surprising, to say the least. It is a technological wonder, nonetheless. So, do we retreat? Go back to the path that we started at, as there were other doorways from there, or... Mm, really? I don't yes, remember any. there were two other doorways. Oh. There's a lot of doorways I don't remember. Quite all right. Vizika's <laughs> visibly disappointed in herself. So what say you? Um, I will let you know from a recalling standpoint, uh, just so you're not running back and forth. Um, there were were not two other doorways. There was one door uh, when you entered from the sort of like maintenance bay in that big hallway there was a door that also had this like billowing steam kind of like blowing out of it other than that you did not see any other doorway i point at the raccoon in the corner of the room uh what that one said (laughs) zika perks up like her ears up her eyes are shining oh i was right i thought my memory was failing me again 
And I think the reason why he thought there were two other doors and the reason why Vizika pointed it out is because Vizika literally ran through all six of the rooms in the security corner <laughs> looking for doors while well, you guys talking were talking. The, the main room that we started in where Marius hacked the computer. Oh, uh, the, the very beginning. Are you talking about the two doors to the south? Yes. Yeah, no, those are actually where you attached from with the barge. That's how oh. you actually entered the premises. I thought it was the big circular thing. No. Fuck. I what was originally the thought the circular thing was the door. <laughs> <laughs> I shake I, the raccoon and the wizard hat. What was the circular thing? I, f I failed you. Just a sort a sorted machine. Machinery. This is why we need our own artists to make our own maps. This shit I wouldn't happen. I let it return back to its tree home. All right, to the elevator then. <laughs> um, as you approach the elevator, you know that the door is not open. You will see uh, on the sensor uh, locked um, by command, uh, by, uh, or, or locked uh, under captain command. So someone has used the captain's key code uh, to seal this area. But that doesn't mean it can't be hacked through. Ooh, overriding captain or administrator permissions. Yeah, Marius uh, sort of uh, rotates his prosthetic. The small panel opens up. Uh, and he would begin producing small wires from it, and he would very gently uh, sort of nudge Vizika out of the way. Uh, <laughs> she rolls. <laughs> uh, sort of drawing on the sides of the panel to lift it somewhat so he can connect uh, his wires. That small projector appears within his helmet. Um, and we're going to try to bypass... Uh, administrator permissions to unlock the elevator. All right. Go ahead and give me a Tinker's Tools check. So as you uh, roll that and kind of go Back, into baby. it, you'll you'll kind of hear the uh, uh, like, like you'll actually hear it air out a little bit. But that's when you hear something else. The sound of something moving, shifting, lightly squelching as you'll begin to watch the walls themselves appear to ooze as these slime globules will begin to start shifting out of the ground, out of the walls, and they begin approaching over to you. On a section hide. And then you'll realize that by the time you notice, uh, they have blocked your way out. Your only way to escape now is through the lift that you've started to hack. And a roll some initiative. Let's begin. It's oh, happening. It's happening all over again. Relax. Relax. It's going to be fine. I am not relaxed, by the way. I, I'm visibly <laughs> very scared. And then another one shows up. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. All right. It's time. Uh. Okay. Combat begins. Oh my God. <laughs> Cheats, what are you doing? Uh, we are going to bonus action. Whoop accelerate. Okay. Straight to the drugs. All right, the haste is is starting to to kick off. I will make a con save. <laughs> con save successful. Although you won't take any damage, so you don't have to make it anyways, because it's just okay. one point, so you're good. 
As soon as they come seeping out of the walls, Cheats has this this almost like manic twitching as she had been like controlling it before, but seeing them all approach, she can't, she can't. She will whip her whip north this year. Uh, that will be a 19. Does it hit? Uh, it does. Well, we'll be rolling my damage and taking a second. Okay. Then I can't move. Uh, oh, my apologies. Paralyzed by fear. Mm -hmm. I'm very scared. Uh, we will step forward. And, um... She will... Attack again. Hit 12 points of damage. I'll take the first one. And I'll sneak attack. Wow. You'll you'll slash up and you'll just see this this thing yeah. sort of just writhing <laughs> as it just kind of like fades off um, from your impact. Something happened again. Was that an audible scream? Yes. And she will take off. Let's rack up some movement squared here. Yeah. Six charges. Indeed. What's the max charges I can have again? I forgot. I believe for you it's eight. But let me check. Let me check your legs. You also have the kinetic capacitor that we gave you. Ah, uh, yes. Your your le it now holds. Uh, your level plus two, so uh, ten. Yeah, we will move back again. Seventy. Uh, and stop for 80. Okay. Vizika. Yeah. She's gonna... Not, not run at it. She's gonna kind of approach it like a little... A little cautiously, like a cautious little... Little jog. This, this creature and thing and and kind of lift her staff up and and slam it down and like try to like grind it into this thing like trying to separate it into pieces okay uh that will hit 10 points of damage and set it on fire 11 points of damage <laughs> the ethanol slime she's gonna do it again she's kind of like yeah. grating the staff through it Ugh. Who would you like to grant inspiration to? Um, she she kind of looks back at Cheats and is like, "We got this. I've already got it." Can I give? Can someone have two? Nope. Shit. Marius is hacking. He could probably use it. She looks back at, at Marius and is like, <clears throat> "Uh, you got this." <laughs> <laughs> Thumb up while he while the other arm is uh, moving across its panel. <laughs> And uh, I'm gonna do a bonus action unarmed strike. Mm, that will miss. She really didn't want to touch it, so she kind of, it was, it was very half assed. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna, ah, uh, yeah. Um, ew. Ew. Gross. Mm. 
Gareth. Gareth will move up on this one and uh, take some flashes. Hmm. Oh, that's going to be 14 points of damage. Hmm. Um. Let me see here. Yeah, he'll slash again. Uh, that'll hit. Another 14 points. Excellent. <laughs> Is the tree like, uh... You cannot run through the tree. Let's see. But you can run that way. Yep, that works. This way. Let's see. A 20 and then He'll get up on this one. And then, uh... I will... He'll just look back towards Cheats as he's been concerned with her reactions to this and say, I'll do my best to keep them away from you. Help us as best you can. And he'll just kind of post up, ready to uh, counter counter strike on this slime near him. At the uh, end of Gareth's turn, I would like to use the legendary action to try another hacking attempt. Excellent. I was about to say the hacking takes an action. Uh, you cannot use a bonus action on this hacking attempt. So I, I assume I was fully committing myself to this. That, while my yeah, team is protecting you me. are. Uh, you are correct on that. Uh, please give me a Tinker's Tools check. A fourteen is insufficient. Ten. The firewall no. continues to just block your stride. What is this thing? Please figure it out. As you continue to hack the panel, you realize that it is adapting to your attempts, but it isn't adapting the way a machine adapts. It's adapting the way a biological would adapt, as if you were in the middle of a, of a, of a sword fight or a duel of some kind. Whatever's in the system is actively trying to stop you from entering the lift. All right. One moment. So you'll watch as uh, this begins to approach. And then this one will turn. It raises its uh, arm up and then slams down upon you. Uh, 22, which I believe mm -hmm. meets your armor class. That's 12 points of damage. <laughs> and as it hits you, <laughs> you'll watch as others will begin to stare over at what they just witnessed and believing they can also take advantage of the stride. This one moves up, raises its uh, up, and you'll actually kind of see several tendrils begin to wrap around the fist that forms and slams down. That'll miss, and it, the good thing it does, because if you haven't noticed, uh, this is a soaring slam. Uh, not only does it deal 2d8 plus 2 bludgeoning damage, plus it deal, it'll deal an additional 1d8 damage for each other hostile slime within 5 feet of the target. So the more ah. slime surrounds oh, you, oh. the more damage their slams will do. Oh. That's fine. As this one will attempt the save. Die. And it'll slam down. Also missing. Marius. Yeah, uh, sort of becoming aware that there is a sentience within the machine. Um, it sort of gives Marius, just the briefest pause, this idea that there is something, not only sentient, but sapient, that is actively fighting against his attempts. Um, he would sort of, you would watch the panels on his back open, these smaller vents as they begin to expel more heat, sort of channeling more energy directly uh, from some of the other like core components of his armor to sort of focus intently on the, the, the sort of algorithm he's making to bypass this firewall uh, and try to subvert this living machine.
with all your might, it withstands your attempts. A 15 is insufficient. Banya. I have a question. What can we use our legendary actions to do again? Uh, you can use it at the end of another creature's turn to take an action or a bonus action. Oh, sick. And on that subject, can I transfer it mine? Nope. What? Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Small <laughs> raccoon smacks you. Runs away <laughs> crying. Okay. Um, all right. Starting with Dreda Ambusher. And uh, I'm just really scared, but also really pissed off at this point. You son of a bitch. I'm gonna try and hit him with my glaive. Uh, that is sufficient. Eight points of damage. Second from uh, my Dread Ambusher. Eleven mm -hmm. points of damage. Mm -hmm. And a third one. My extra attack. Thirteen points of damage. And then the Dread Ambusher, I believe, is just extra damage on top of the third attack, so that is an additional six points of damage. Mm. Very nice. Dread Ambusher gives a 1d8 extra, yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, and, um, and yeah, I'm going to end here. You'll watch as uh, this thing approaches, almost rushes in. <laughs> and it will slam down uh, upon Gareth, who manages to block it. <laughs> this thing begins to slowly approach. Top of the round, um, cheats. Before, at the end of his turn, I would like to take my bonus action. Okay, what would you like to do? Uh, I would like to use my stim accelerant again. Understood. The haste is reapplied. Another I two points. My, yep. I'll roll my con save. <laughs> that's my a, that's a failure. So, no more fox cutting. Okie dokie. Uh, Cheats is now your... Oh, go on. Yeah. The vents on his back, the expelling heat, now begin to expel that sort of... that stench of ozone from the radiation that leaks through his armor. And he sort of sputters for a moment, having to catch himself. Uh, and the small halo of eyes around the three uh, immediately dim. And then the panels collapse around his helmet. Yeah, as she goes to take off, she just mutters in this sh shaky voice. Oh, I'm sorry. And then the sound of like her scraping metal just as she takes off. And here she will use ten. If she hits, she'll use ten charges on this guy. Okay. Uh, I will allow it this time, but just so you know, the charges drop at the beginning of your turn. So you want to do your charges first and then attack. Just FYI. Oh, okay. Uh, so 10 charges there. Uh, let's see if you hit. Uh, a 12 is insufficient. As you kind of whip, it just kind of like ma malleably like surrounds around your whip. I will whip again. Now that will hit for 19 I'll points of damage. My damage. Um, uh, yeah, it's an additional I'll point of damage. The, yeah, I'll take the arrow. You have a bonus action remaining. Yeah, and then I will step in to use my cheat code. Where does she hit? Ooh, wow! Oh my yeah. god! Ooh, we love then, uh, it. Yeah, we're gonna use uh, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. sneak attack as well for a crit as well. <laughs> Thing's gonna fucking explode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, she she it goes does. in and attempt for it to like sever its head before it can even make a sound. Understood. 
you just hear the squelch of the slime <laughs> as it just kind of like splatters onto the ground. Who would you like to grant inspiration to? Uh, Marius. Understood. Marius, you now she, have inspiration. She turns with that swing and looks through like the tree line, this like underbrush of the tree. She just, please get it open. And she will stand back to back to prevent any more slime from surrounding her companion. And just from like the sheer, like standing near him, he can, he, he would be able to feel like this, like shaking or hear this like shaking metal from the different metal pieces that adorn cheats. Understood. It is now Vizika's turn. Petter petter of feet as she sprints up. Oh, this one's dead. Ha. And she's going to attack the one right to the north of her. Uh, that hits nine points of damage. She like tries to shake off a little bit of the goop from her staff and, and raise it up and smack again. Uh, that hits 11 points of damage. And and this time she's gonna stomp down into it, try to squish it into the ground. Ooh. Eight points of damage. Eh, that's so close. And then raises her staff and looks around, her lip pulled back, snarling. Gareth. Um, okay. Gareth, feeling Cheat's presence, lashes out just at all of these slimes in front of him, and he's going to attack once on th this one. Uh, that'll hit. Slime dispatched. On this one. That'll also hit. And he'll use his uh, action surge for another set of attacks against this one again. That'll hit. Dispatched. And then the other. Uh, that'll hit. 12 points of damage. Damn. And just look over his shoulder and say, I've got you. And then he's going to move kind of more into the middle of these guys over here. Mm. At the end of Gareth's turn, we go again, oh. baby. Let's see it. Uh, yeah. Uh, sort of hearing the desperation, the plea, um, lacking the, the, the mechanical uh, one up that he had um, he's going to sort of lean more closely into the panel uh, and sort of muttering to himself just what are you and then uh, try to open it or try to bypass the firewall that's, uh, that's my legendary action <laughs> <laughs> the firewall just continues to <laughs> to, 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 to find the right way to stop as you hear the uh, squelching slam of the slime behind you that'll miss hmm uh, at the end of that slime's turn but before Marius' turn I've got for you a little lair action hmm You'll, oh baby <laughs> uh, you'll begin to watch as four more slimes merge out of the floors the walls and continue their pursuit uh, and with that you'll kind of watch as they, they immediately begin to rush Marius Uh, different first, uh, different verse, same as the first, uh, finding that it's just, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, just every <laughs> attempt has been stonewalled by this, this AI. Um, 
he's going to sort of, with a moment of frustration, sort of slam his fist into the wall <laughs> uh, and sort of, you will let me in, and then try it again. All right, machine, I get it. Yeah, I know it's my turn. As you begin, finally, you you get the upper hand for just one moment, and you believe that you you're you're doing it. As you go, watch to see the door. You'll notice the three lights above it, each of them dim, and now only one lit. This is the beginning of your battle, not the end. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> uh, oh, baby. Um, yeah, that that moment of satisfaction, looking up, seeing one of the, like, all three of the lights dim, and then one light, he, this sort of resounding, uh, that human tenacity begins to take over. Uh, we're going to just, just for my own safety, uh, yes. I'm going to spend a charge of my sentinel flask. Okay. Sort of drawing the uh, one of the vials up and then stabbing it into a port so that way he can sort of hone his focus more. Understood. And that'll be my turn. Hey, look at that. All right. Uh, next up in, in, in Slime Valley, here we go. And Okay, Vanya. I am just so concerned with all this right now. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to Marius and I'm just going to touch, you know, like how you put your hands on someone's shoulders to kind of like, not like massage with the intent of massaging, but kind of like, you know, release attention, right? I know he's full of metal armor, but that's what I'm doing. Okay. And I'm like, okay, listen, you're doing great. You can do this. I believe in you. We all believe in you. The stakes are very high, but you can do this. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to, as I touch him, I, I grant him guidance. Yeah, you do. Yes, I do. Delightful. There's a, there's that moment where he's sort of like the very, not, not even, uh, not even celebrating the victory that he's started the fight, just preparing himself, hearing the words of encouragement. There's a, that small nod of the helmet. Thank you. I nod back. Hell yeah. Uh, if that is the end of your round, oh, thank you. Uh, you just kind of keep hearing it just over and, and over. <sighs> as the slime is just repeatedly slamming down uh, against Gareth. That'll <laughs> miss. <laughs> and then this one will grab at uh, at Fizika. That'll miss. I just wish the other one was closer. <laughs> Top of the round, cheats. Right. Come here so I can bite um, you. So we can climb on top of these? Oh, uh, yeah, you can walk up those. Yep. All right. Um, she will lash out her whip at this one here. Okay. Um, after she runs a bit, she's twitchy. Mm. <laughs> eh, ooh. She runs this way and she's like, uh, ooh, eh, no, ooh. no, 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 no. Don't let fear get ahead of me. I gotta go back. She will attack. All right. Uh, that's a, fish. a that's a solid and attack. I will take the new one. Yes, you will. Uh, Fourteen okay. points. Very good. Uh, and we'll you also again. uh, yeah, you use your your four kinetic yes. charges. Excellent. I will step forward and attack again. Thirteen. Rolling for Krivit for double fish. I didn't get it. Same thing. Okie dokie. I will use sneak attack in this range. 
Oh, it's dead. You mm. killed it. You're just, you're just, you keep stabbing oh. it. Oh, yeah. uh, she is. Please just, <laughs> <laughs> just keep it. Attempt to keep it from making any noise as it dies. It is this deathly kill. Um, and uh, as uh, sorry, my <laughs> as my bonus action. I don't think you are sorry, but continue. <laughs> I don't keep taking the drug. I get lethargy. I'm oh my slower. god, it's like an actual drug, like you're chasing the high or something. Yeah, she will. She just keeps stabbing and stabbing until uh, she feels this like, this just this whipping. And then she starts to feel the like strain of her arm and realize that lethargy will consume her. She reaches for another uh, hit. Another hit, baby. Ooh, max damage. Oh, no. <laughs> we love that here. Four points of dam radiation damage to Marius. Four points of radiation damage to Cheats. Like, okay. You made the ring. Vince, once again, expelling ozone. The, uh, the, the recently consumed Sentinel's flask. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then she uh will run uh here and uh yeah that will uh end her turn all right Vizika Vizika does a little hop over the skirt of this slime and uh Ends up here and starts looking around. Oh, where did all those come from? These things are really weird. She's gonna attack at the one south. Okay. That hits seven points, 12 points. And hit again. Just trying to grind this one into the dirt. That misses. Oh, useless. And we're gonna do an unarmed strike. Miss. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe it's me that's useless. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Gareth. Is this a valid position here? Yes, it is. Okay. He'll move here and uh, strike towards this slime. Uh, mm -hmm. That'll hit 15 points. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, just seeing if I want to use a maneuver. Uh I don't think so. He'll just swing again at it. Wow. Ooh, who would you like wow, to grant yeah. inspiration to? Um, You'll grant to Vizika. Uh, no. No. When the Mari is, when the Mari is, I don't want to meta again. When the Mari is, I'm... You can, you can, you can meta. You can talk. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you look at Vizika. You look at Vizika, and she seems focused. She seems hey, so gosh. disgusted by these inedible slimes. You know she doesn't need it. She knows. The... She knows the job that needs doing. Vanya is making aggressive, shot. aggressive gestures, like pointing <laughs> at Marius. Don't like do that. it. That was the oh, first roll the I tree. got. The first roll I got in the last four sets that was over a ten. Don't do it. It's up to Kill you. these motherfuckers. You need more rolls. You this one is from hit. your brother. It's going to be good. You need <laughs> more hits. Um, let's... He'll uh, yell back to Marius. <laughs> How are we looking? And that is supposed to inspire him. <laughs> <laughs> it's real bad back here! And I inspire him with that, right? <laughs> Can you we put a question mark him. next to it? Yeah, just, yeah. God damn it! <laughs> you just hear Marius. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and use my second wind as well. Woo! Minimum heal. That's it. I'm um, gonna go sir. We go again, baby. All right, let's see it. My fight with this rogue AI. And now with uh, guidance. Now with guidance and an advantage. Whoa! Woo! Wait, why was it an advantage? Uh, because of, oh no, not it, sorry. 
<laughs> it wouldn't have been an advantage. No, wouldn't you have to re-roll? I Sorry. Yes, I would have. <laughs> I got fucking <laughs> used to having. <laughs> yes. That's I got so fucking Oops. used to my uh, my uh, ability. What happened? Yay. I was he gone accidentally for advantaged and when he, he shouldn't have. We celebrated for no Ma reason. Marius, as you continue to hack into the system, um, you see this time it is fighting even with more of uh, more fervor. Like it, the tricks you were using before, it seems to know every move you're making currently within the system, blocking it. And even in your moments of success or those at times where you felt successful, you find yourself struggling against this machine. However, you do manage to expose an opening and you'll see the second light illuminate up above the, the lift. Is that good or bad? Good. Yes. Okay. okay. But it's uh, learning. This slime is going to look as it kind of like it's tendril kind of like it, it doesn't touch anything, but it kind of like begins like moving around your face a little bit, Gareth, and then it kind of like lurches over to Vizika and as it moves around it'll just go <laughs> and it'll slam down on Vizika. Oh shit. Uh, AC that... is 17. I forgot if that hits. It sure does. It does. <laughs> meets it, beats it. Sad. This one begins rushing, uh, unable to get to its target. It will slam down on. Gareth and said 23 is successful uh, because there is another hostile slime within the ooh actually there I have to do a couple of I rolls. was going to retcon that to you thanks bud uh, that'll be mm. two extra points of damage over to Vizika and an extra four oh sorry there's another d8 mm -hmm. it's two d8 another nine <laughs> points of damage over what? to, uh, Wait, to Gareth no to me oh, so what's the total uh, nine, uh, 19, yep. Um, Wait, why I... does this say my name on those two? Because I had your token selected, and unfortunately, oh, okay. it just does that, yeah, so. Yeah, don't okay. mind that. I, I accept this. Oh, <laughs> so benevolent of you. So <laughs> generous. <laughs> uh, I too am generous. As a lair action, you'll watch as more slimes begin to form or more enter the fray. Excellent. Uh, we continue. <laughs> <laughs> that's not, that's not good. And you'll just kind of watch as they all begin to surge around, all begin to rush. Uh, this one's going to Vizika. That'll miss. That's a miss. I'm I'm going to use my reaction and spend a key point to redirect an attack. With how? With deflect? That's... that's With, with redirect attack. Wait, what? It's a monk thing. One key, redirect an attack. When a creature misses a melee attack, spend one key to redirect and hit another creature of my choice within five feet of me. One moment, please. Oh. Redirect attack. Uh, let me let me just double over double check that real quick. It's a way of the drunken master feature. Ah, I see what you got there doing there. Swing. <laughs> I see what's happening there. Understood. Where would you like that swing to go? So she kind of like ducks and like rolls and like does a, you know, Neo Matrix dodging and like with her staff, like kind of encourages the slimes attack to keep like rolling over her and whips at, at this one over here. All right. Do I need to make another attack roll? I don't think so. I think it just hits it. 
cause that attack to points. hit. Uh, what? Oh. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah. I like that. Nine points of damage. You'll watch as it yeah. and just crushes through the the head of that of that form. Betrayal. <laughs> Only to have another one take its place. <laughs> that misses. Well, I can't do it again. It's a reaction. That's right. <laughs> Still, it misses. <laughs> Marius. Oh, so I need all the help I can get, um, which means... It's learning. I. You need to hold out. I'm gonna cast <laughs> enhance ability. I love it. And once again, the halo of eyes emerge around uh, the three. Ah. Uh, oh, you hate to see that. Begin to channel uh, that. A lot of that. Uh, mechanical energy from the armored core out. Uh, so I, that is my action. I can't do anything else, but I need the advantage against this fucking thing. <laughs> Understood. Oh, boy. You know I gotta circle around. All I need is one hit. All I need is one. Oh, yeah. Vania will put her hands on Marius's shoulders again. Kind of lower her head. Like, she means it even more this time. Hey, bud. Hey, <laughs> buddy. Huh. <laughs> You're doing so great. We're all just so proud of you. So proud of you. Um, yeah. Um, you're doing great. You're doing great. That's all I had to say to you. And if you could just do a little better, that would be just peachy. I am trying my best. Yes. Uh, I, ca I cast uh, guidance on, on this poor man once Unders again. Understood. <sighs> what you doing? No. Oops, sorry. I was typing in. AOPS. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Ado. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Cheats. Yeah, she will let out a whip towards this one here. That'll hit. Wow. Fishing, and I'll use the first one. Understood. We will sneak attack. Yes, you will. 15 points. And then we will whip it again. Whip it good. Yep. Dispatched. Good. Uh, and she goes to... She whips into this thing just relentlessly to uh, bob and weave back around as her hand twitches over her stimulants and when she hears Marius call out, there's just this, like, her pupils are physically growing in size and shrinking each time she moves. She's so juiced up right now that instead her hand reaches for the cheat code. Hit hmm. this one here. Eight points of damage. Damn. Want you to know that my heart preemptively sank into my my stomach. There's this this moment where, when she digs the cheat code into this slimed figure, she just looks at at her at her finger where the ring is underneath, and she just feels this. There's <gasps> just a thud as she hits the floor. Understood. Azika. 
time to slam a jam a bing bang. I need to know this who you're hitting. This one right here. Sorry, that one. Sorry, is it? I thought. Yeah, that one. Nine points of damage. I don't see its health. I. It's because it just got hit. Give me one second. Oh, did she not hit it? No, no, it did. It's just there's a lot I have to do behind the scenes. You oh, just God, have you have you have to give me a minute. <laughs> oh no worries, no worries. Yeah, you're controlling like thirty billion things here. Okay. We're gonna hit it again. Uh, that will hit seven points of damage. Okay. Oh, I hit it with an unarmed strike. That hits five points of damage. And then is he just gonna slide up to the wall here? If we fight up against the wall, they can't surround us as much. Gareth. Gareth will swing at the damaged one. That'll hit. He will move back intentionally, provoking. Okay, give me a second. Oh, no. Two will slam. Miss. All right. Miss. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Take his second oh. swing at uh, this one in range here. Miss. Mm. Um, he will do uh, two charges of his Sentinel's flask then. Okie dokie. Give me one moment. As a bonus. And that will be that. Okay. With that, they're all like, you're just kind of watching as they're all flat, you know, just sort of like moving about want just randomly as they're, they're surging forward and slamming. But as Sheets falls, you will watch as all of the 10... The tendrils, all the pseudopods of these slimes immediately just in unison turn over to the fallen sheets. And then you'll just hear them as it just starts screeching, echoing into the chamber. <laughs> and they begin their charge towards Cheats' direction. Um, is a a a a reaction, right? Correct. Okay, I would like to use it on the one that just moved. Understood. Out of my range. Understood. Um, okay, and can That'll that hit. hit with flaming? Uh, it is once per turn, so yes. Excellent. Three points. Uh, it'll still continue to cross through. Mm -hmm. And as it does, it'll, uh, Slam on the uh, on the prone cheats at advantage. That'll be eleven points of damage. Uh, cheats is going to take six. Marius is going to take five. Marius, give me a Constitution saving throw. As you begin to feel it, just something slamming in, <sighs> sort of sends him into the wall for a moment. And it's not. Like the expected, like you know, acidic back of your mouth kind of feel. It's it's bludgeoning. And then to your horror, the lair action. Four more slimes pull and manifest themselves from the station. Can inspiration stop a lair action? Or no, it cannot. No, it cannot. Only legendary. Uh -huh. All right, and you'll just kind of watch as this continues to charge forward. Uh, this is going to be a crit. Uh, it's going to be a total of not. Oof, this is going to be rough. I'm going to roll two d eight. Oof, not as bad as it could be. Fourteen plus four, eighteen. Nine points of damage to cheats. Nine points of damage to Marius. Marius, please give me a Constitution saving throw. 
as a fail, uh, your bye -bye. enhance ability is gone. Oh boy! Oh boy! Um, can I use my reaction? Uh, let me check the lethargy rules, and I will let you know. No, you can't move or take actions, but you. I believe say anything about reactions. I believe you can't move or take actions until. Ooh, give me one second, because there was actually a weird ruling on this that James Crawford uh, had, I believe, for haste. The haste spell limits what you can do. Uh, what you can do with its attack action, one weapon attack, extra attack doesn't work with it. Wait, what? Um, one second. I'm 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 willing to say yes, but I I need to do a quick check. Yeah, go ahead. When it says you can't take actions for haste, does that include reactions? Haste it. Reactions and non-action activities like speaking are the only up. Oh, there it is. Haste ending means you can't take an action or bonus action. So reaction is still good. As a reaction, I would like to take off the ring. Understood. She is shaking on the ground with this desolate expression she will pull off the ring scratching at her own hands oh Jesus Christ understood one second I need to check one quick thing for this call out you can use both keep that door open I believe the ring breaks on Marius' hand I was about to say yep so yeah I'm just making sure yeah, so the moment the ring turns off, you'll just watch as the rings, both on finger uh, and on on uh, Cheats' finger, just just evaporates into dust. Please, Mark. Ooh, boo. Um, hmm. Yeah, this thing's gonna try and slam to try and get uh, the Zika out of the way. It's gonna be a tw that's gonna be a ten points Ooh. of damage. Ow. Yep. Stinky. Five, ten, fifty. Yeah, they're all charging towards cheats. Cheats is the easy target. So they're they're immediately moving forward. Marius. Uh, yeah. Marius, his attention on the panel receives that bludgeoning first that sort of sort of knocks his senses around. Um, and by the time he looks back, he'd have seen the second pseudopod slam down and that reverberating slam working its way up through his spine, this sharp, white-hot pain uh, that immediately causes all of the lights on his armor to flash red and then settle the yellow. The halo of eyes immediately depart. And it would be seeing Cheats in her current situation and feeling the ring shatter that for the briefest of moments, had it not been for her her saying what she said, he'd have thought she died. We're gonna do a, uh, quite honestly, probably the last ability check against this door. With it, you just kind of see as the program is shifting around faster than you can correct it. You're feeling the concussive blast against the back of your head from things that you believe might be hitting you but are not. And as you continuously just move around the computer system trying to do the best that you can, you'll, the system begins to fight back faster. It begins to fight back harder. Then you start to move faster. You begin to hack the system at the same pace. The same pace. You're catching up. A quicker pace. 
a faster pace. There, now, and then you hit the opening as you'll see the lift just open. As the lift opens, you kind of hear these horrific sounds over in the back, uh, over behind you, and then the sounds turn into shifting. They turn into the, the slime squelching as it kind of like all of them turn to the direction of the lift. And they just kind of like kind of reverberate and ripple there, almost like a puddle as it stares forward. And then you'll just watch as each one of them will sort of point up into the air and then just sink into the ground. That is much more horrifying. <laughs> Ending the encounter. Immediately, hand up on Vanya's shoulder, this very firm clasp with a hand. Thank you. And then... <laughs> sort of falling to a knee, this loud slam of armor uh, to Cheats' side. Gareth would be here kneeling as well. Just checking on her. On you as well. How does she look? Marius would uh, check for the, the sort of any trauma that might have been uh, experienced at the hand of these creatures. Seeing as we've never fought these things before. Any, what what the contusions look like, anything like that. Um, yeah, go ahead and make a medicine check. So as you look, I mean, she's pretty bruised and, and beaten, but you're just kind of, it's okay. <laughs> but you just kind of watch that she ha is currently in a severe relapse from the stimulants that have been continuously injected within her. There's a... Looking back at the door, I don't know what waits for us further within. He would very gently try to lift Cheats up, sort of cradling her to his chest, pushing himself up to stand. The, the loud hissing of his uh, his leg prosthetic as he moves to stand fully upright. I am sorry. You did what was needed, brother. We have passage now. We should move before those things come back. And that is where we will end today's session of Into the Shadows Breach. Thank you so much for playing. My goodness. Oh, I'm sweating. Thanks for running. Uh, I'm sweating, yes. you've been. <laughs> Holy fuck. Thank you so much for playing. Could you imagine? When I said there were three bosses with one optional one, and you've only downed one so far, ah, mm. good stuff, good ah. stuff. Mm. Ah, <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. That was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating. Yeah. Let it be known for anybody in the future, uh, advantage doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> It is quite literally horse shit uh, <laughs> when you can't roll over a ten. It's pretty oh, great. Oh, <laughs> it was it was terrifying, uh, and I, I was holy shit. I legit was like, I TPK'd the party because I can't roll over a ten. I'm so excited, <laughs> baby. <laughs> so so the way I calculated that um, for the DMs in the audience, um, just because it was supposed to have that feeling of just overwhelming pressure um quite literally the lair action was uh take as many slimes as was killed the previous round spawn mm. that many and just add one more <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh baby <laughs> nice yeah just uh just one more just just add one just, just add one more. Just every one time more. you tell me the dungeon's too easy i add one more skeleton <laughs> <laughs> it is it is it's it it makes it just 
absolutely horrifying because and, and the reason why is because the dungeon can do that as you will probably discover here as you continue with that so absolutely mm -hmm. as a disgusting mechanic well there is a way to to escape it and that's get the the lift door open and when every failed save, you're just like, boy, this is going to get a little scarier, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I was waiting for, I was, when Gareth got surrounded by like five of them. I oh, was yeah. Like, All it takes is one, one hit. good hit. Yep. <laughs> you have 22 AC. All they need is a natural 20 or a 23. And you're about to go from healthy to mortal. Yeah, these, uh, these enemies are meant to simulate a horror experience and the fact that they have a swarming attack where it's like hey how many of its their buddies are around because they're going to start doing more damage progressively and that's what well, gets so scary it was horrific so <laughs> good job it was amazing it was such like thematic whiplash we're like we were like yeah final fantasy sci-fi tech <laughs> <laughs> and then we saw the blood streak and i went Oh, <laughs> it's Bloodborne. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot. Yeah, that's oh, right. And then I saw it. <sighs> yep. <laughs> I forgot. My bad. Um, so today we are going to do bingo. Um, we're doing a little something different with the fan art. I, I spoke a little Ooh. bit about the hardcore with the hardcore crew. Um, and after speaking with a few fan artists, this actually feels like it's going to be a positive change. Um, so we're going to do uh, some more downtime uh, sessions uh, where you kind of like, well, whether it be leveling up or a bunch of crafting projects or things like that, where it's like little to no pressure um, and where the session usually takes about an hour or so. And the reason why is when we do those sessions, the aftermath of that is going to be a big old fan art session. So I feel like this it will allow multiple positive things. Uh, one, uh, the D&D &D sessions will, ju will just be pure D&D, &D, so we don't have to worry about ending early to make sure that we're uh, uh, accommodating for the fan art section. And two, for the artist in the audience, you don't have to pressure yourself into getting something drawn so freaking quickly that if you want to spend some more time with the pieces that you've been working on, you now have the ability to do that. And then we'll get to it at a later time, which gives the fan artists more time to work on the stuff that they're working on. Um, and uh, the third part of it is we actually get a dedicated time for the fan art for the uh the fan artist so um that we don't have to worry about certain sessions where it's like all right we're pressed for time we gotta we gotta go you know and i never want the fan art section to feel rushed so that way we get a dedicated time um and it lets everyone there that's the fun part that's a part that you can challenge on your own and don't have to uh, kind of like commit every fan artist to that policy. <laughs> so you must make art or you will die. You must make art within three hours or you're gone. So, yeah, we'll probably know ahead of time when it's a low uh, stress session. Yeah, because, I mean, it'll usually be at the end of a dungeon, the middle of a travel. A level up has just occurred. So, yeah, you'll know. Everyone will know. It won't be sprung. It'll be like, surprise. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do some bingo, and then we'll wrap up for the night. Bingo, bingo. Bingo, bingo. Bingo, bingo. So not anytime soon. Um, Chat, best not to assume how long or short something is. Just FYI. Marines, we are leaving. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, where where the bingo at? There we go. I'm gonna go. Oh nope, that's for the bingo there. Okay. Here we go. Let's see how we do. Let's uh. <clears throat> Let's see how we do. Mother, <laughs> I hate Discord. Discord just crashed. <laughs> Hello. Crashing. I click I I click link link goes oh <laughs> we're Discord we don't handle that <laughs> yeah we don't do those we don't <laughs> we don't we don't we don't do that no. no thanks all right let's do it card generated enemy crit attack can everyone see the the stream okay yes excellent 
Yes. More traps. Uh, no. Do you count a lair as a trap? What was that, 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 like, steam thing that we avoided? The what thing that you avoided? <laughs> the steam thing we avoided. Oh. Mm, okay, I'll, I'll count it. Sheets lies on the ground. I like to imagine that <laughs> Momo was looking at a bingo. I was like, and then I, uh, uh, I lay on the ground. I lay on the ground. It's uh, just flavor. It's character. Like, no, every it's time good. she gets it's... lethargy, she falls over. It's good. I like. I don't I... care if the mechanics are like, well, that's I... going to be worse for you. I don't care. I want the role play out of it. Hey, I loved it. I loved it. Are you talking about someone in chat being a little stinker? You point them out to me and I'll be like, hey, stop that. It's all about flavor. <laughs> it's about building a story. Hey, if Zeke eats something weird, I'm going to check that off. Yeah. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheadle or the kids entered the station. God, I hope not. I love for the I, I love the fact that before this session, if that that was the bingo square, you'd be like, ha. That'd be wacky and fun, and then after all the horror you guys been through, like, don't fucking be, don't be here. I don't want you here. Steal the doors. Uh, Gareth sobers up. Sure. Yeah. Strange yeah. aliens are referenced. Mm. I'm not gonna check that off for reasons. Vizika does something and instantly regrets <laughs> the decision. <laughs> Metalpipe.sfx. Uh, clang, 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 clang. I take emotional damage. Uh... How do you feel about the spit? Yeah, Gareth spitting. Notters. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> uh, slime based enemies reveal themselves. Wow. Okay. Bio RP. Uh, yep. Yep. Sp spitting is, is emotional damage, <laughs> bio RP, and cursed RP all in one square. Uh, Gareth talks about cheat. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> what do you think Cheetle's up to? Let's <laughs> say that. What would Cheetle do in this situation? Uh, not even, not even that. Just like you're walking in empty hallways. What would Cheetle's up to? <laughs> <laughs> Marius starts crafting upgrades. Nope. Marius goes down. Nope. Marius bad curl curse continues. I'll check that off. Love that. Slime related yeah. boss battle. There was slime within the 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 sentry guard. So yes, cheats takes more of her accelerant. Absolutely. Nat one, yes. Darkest dungeon reference. Crowns of the I'm literally a walking darkest yeah. dungeon reference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all that's yeah. Uh Vanya Wednesday personality. Wait, what is what? What does what? that mean? Wednesday, Wednesday Adams. Adam. Like Wednesday, Wednesday Adams. Adams? I think so. She was like, "You're doing great, but do better." I but, but would Wednesday say you're doing great? I don't think she would. So I'm gonna say no. Pan <laughs> panic issues, notters, nat twenty, yeah. notters. God, look at these yeah. bingo. Yeah. Yeah. Do do yes. Uh, and then group check is made. Everyone fails it. Uh, hey, what's that one? What's that one? Yeah. Mutations and radiation stacks return what's as a mechanic. Don't worry That's about it. it. Shouldn't be on the fucking bingo. Anyways, so we're, uh, I'm going to go stop that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry. All right. Hard. Radiation. I don't know what that means. Well, guys, thank you so much for playing. <laughs> I'll Wait, see you. Uh, I'll see you all next week. I'm being escorted out of the room. Yeah, what does it mean? Oh, okay. There's the door. What does it mean? Bye bye. Thanks.